So I'm just getting home. It's about 11, 11.30 at night. Something like that. Anyway, why is this not focusing? Come on. Okay, there you go. Anyway, and I was thinking on the way home, like what are the issues? What are some of the problems that I have, I'm have? i having in the dating world? What are the, some of the things that I'm learning about myself? And <clears throat> one of the things uh, I l I've learned about myself here lately, I'm going to say another thing in the past four years, four or five years. I mean, you learn something about yourself. You should kind of, you know, as often as possible. But then I'm a control freak. I'm very, I, I very much like to be in control. Um, I'm, I'm very guarded. Uh, I know people probably wouldn't think that about me because when you first meet me, I'm, I mean, I'm very, I am who I am. I'm very happy, lovable, love to be around everybody. But when it comes to matters of the heart, that's when it gets a little different and testy for me. Um, I grew up kind of like an only child, just, you know, just me, uh, raised mostly by my grandmother in Shreveport, Louisiana. And it was just me. I have siblings on my dad's side and I have a sister on my mom's side. Uh, when my sister was really young, maybe four or five years old, is, uh, uh, she had to move back to, she moved to Kansas City and was raised by her dad. So it was just me. And with that comes, um, uh, kind of the uh, sense of entitlement. My grandmother really kind of spoiled me. I got away with a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> and so there was, you know, I didn't have to share anything. I didn't grow up in a house with uh, siblings. It was just me. Uh, everything was mine. <laughs> everything was my space. I didn't have to share it with nobody. I didn't have to deal with nobody if I didn't want to. Things like that. So but the only thing that came close to me as far as siblings are my best friends that I grew up with in Shreveport. That, that are still my best friends to this day. I mean, literally, five, six years old, we are in our 40s now, and we are still childhood best friends to this day. And so um, with that, it, it came uh, the life of kind of being a loner, which is probably why uh, truck driving really uh, suited me, <laughs> because I wasn't afraid of being by myself or being out over the road by myself. It was very, very simple, very, very easy for me, because I was always used to being by myself. And, um, so I noticed that, you know, being very guarded, being just kind of by myself, not willing to compromise, <clears throat> not willing to, I don't have to commit to anything, stuff like that. You know, uh, I have, I, I've always kind of had an attitude of, you know, I once didn't know you when it comes to dating a guy or something like that, you know, it's like, okay, you don't want to be here. Yeah. Bye. You know? <laughs> I've always had that attitude, like, whatever, <laughs> you know, you, you be here, you don't have to, you know, I'm, a, I'm not clingy, you know, come here, me, 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 I got to have you, no, I don't, yeah, but that type of attitude has kept me single, <laughs> single for a long time, and the one time that I really had a, um, kind of a light bulb moment, and uh, this, and I know this might sound crazy, like, Miss Pearl, you just recently had this light bulb moment. Yeah, literally. It was like about three or four years ago when I was staying in North Dallas, I went and joined the LA Fitness Gym down the street uh, from my apartment at the time. And you know how you go in, they try to sell you the different packages, you know, this amount for this month, you know, do you want a personal trainer, all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I'm sitting at the desk <clears throat> with the guy. Uh, that's going over all the different options and everything. And I'm, you know, okay, okay, yada, 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 woo, woo, woo. I'm just listening. I'm like, okay. And so I choose whatever program I wanted or what have you. And so he goes to reach down into his desk or whatever, pull out a drawer. And you know, those places that have the tags, you know. So when you go into the gym, you know, you just use your tag to kind of just, you know, scan yourself in. So he pulls out this LA Fitness, you know, tag. And remember, I'm sitting on the other side of the desk, and my keys are just sitting right there in front of me at the desk, and you know, and he reaches, <laughs> he go to reach for my keys in front of me, and I remember immediately thinking, what? You know, he, he reached for my keys, and I kind of grabbed him, and he kind of, you know, like, you know, and I, 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 I ended up giving it to him, and he put the tag on my keys for me. And I remember, and I, I know this sounds crazy or, or, you know, whatever to some people. 
And I remember sitting there thinking to myself, why did you need to, you could have just gave it to me. I could put the tag on <laughs> You could, you could have just handed it to me. I could have put the tag on my keys myself. I didn't need you. I, that's what I was thinking. Now, of course I didn't tell this man that, but I was thinking I could put the damn tag on the keys myself. <laughs> I could put the tag on the keys myself. But this, that's, that's what was wrestling inside of me at the time. Now, you know, in the meantime, this man got my keys. He put his tag on there. You know, da, 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 and I was like, okay. And, you know, went off, signed the paperwork, whatever. Okay, and we leave. But I remember thinking to myself, why was that so difficult for you to let them in with the damn tag on your keys, Pearl? <laughs> so that was one of the moments where I knew. I was like, okay. I like to take rain as a little too much. I'm just a little, I won't let go and let a guy do something. You know, I, I have this attitude, you know, I can do it myself. I don't need you to do that. <laughs> and it's, and it, it doesn't say, it does not say that I can't do it. Of course I can't. It doesn't, but it's just the fact of just, just, just let, just let him do it. It's okay. The world's not going to end because this man put the tag <laughs> Another incident, y'all, and I know I'm going to end this. Um, a couple of months ago, the guy that I'm, I'm seeing, I was telling you guys about, a couple of months ago, we were headed to my house, and on the way there, I was thinking, um, I wanted some Thai food, right? And um, so I was like, well, since we're going to go by there anyway, let me call in my order, right? So I call in my order, what have you. We get to the Thai restaurant, we pull in, park a lot, and he says, uh, he looks over. He said, baby, want me to go in there and get it? I'm thinking to myself, why do you need to go in there and get it? I can go in there and get my own food. <laughs> I, I, I remember thinking to myself, uh, I can go in there and get the damn food. <laughs> but, I, I, and I, but I immediately felt that, me feeling that way. I immediately, you know, was like, wrestling inside and then I said to him yeah babe sure you go ahead and get it for me so he parks the car and he goes in there and get my food for me and I'm thinking to myself why are you wrestling with this what, what is you know the man want to go in there and get, he, he, he wants you to sit in the car and he's, he's just going to go in the restaurant and get the food for you honey again that does not make you weak that doesn't make you, <laughs> that'll make you incapable of getting out the car to go, <clears throat> to go get your own food. You know, it, it, it's not, it's not like he don't know that you can't get out the car and go in there and get your own food. You know, he, he's well aware. <laughs> he's just being a sweetheart. I just want to go in there, just, just sit here and he wants to go in there and get it for you. That's all. You know, not the end of the world. You know, so. I say all that to say this, y'all. It is a, a interesting time <laughs> that I'm learning a lot about myself. And I remember someone saying, I remember years ago, you know how throughout your life you just hear different things and what have you. And, and then when it's, as time go on, you kind of think back to, I remember when that person said that. You know, I remember somebody saying one time that you don't know, you think you know a lot about yourself, but you don't know a lot more, you don't know nothing about yourself until you are in a relationship or a marriage with somebody else. Then you begin to learn things about yourself. <laughs> I, I, I would have to say that's very well true. That's very well true. Because you couldn't have told me that I was controlling or... I always knew I kind of had a guard up. I always knew that I was very guarded. You know, I have a wall up. Now, speaking of walls these days, baby, the wall I got up, I guess it's just like the 145 I want to put up. Oh my God. Anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, that's the kind of wall I got. <laughs> Bob wired every. I ain't trying to let nobody in, you know, type thing. And my mom was like, "Baby, you gonna have to let you gonna have to let your guard down, and and just learn to just let go and just you know, you know, it may you know things might not always work out as you planned them. You know, you can't control everything." You know, it's like I want to control everything. Like if, if I text you and you don't text back right away, oh my God, see, I want to be there to control the fact that you should text me back right away. 
<laughs> you know, but I can't, I learned I can't control people and I should not want to. Like my mom said, you shouldn't want to. Why, why would you want to control somebody? Who wants to be in a relationship with somebody that they can control? I mean, that's true. You're, you're absolutely right, mom. I, I, I do not and no, un, no, under no circumstances want no man that I can run over. Absolutely not. That I can control, tell what to do, this, that, the other. No. Heck no. So, so, um, so a lot of my trucking couples out there just know that I'm learning a lot from you guys, from your uh, videos. Uh, it helps me to think of what would I do in this particular situation and things that I can work on and stuff like that. So a lot of, you know, your YouTube videos are really helpful for a single woman like me that, um, you know, learn, trying to learn to let go and let things be, you know, and even if it doesn't work out the way that I feel it should work out, it's okay. <laughs> a lot of things has not worked out the way that I wanted to in my life and everything is still okay. It's not the end of the world. You know what I'm saying? So, so I just wanted to come and share that with you guys. I was thinking about that on the way. Also, y'all, I need to get me a tripod because if y'all knew this this way, this, this the way I got this set up right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I got this set up all kind of which way. So I need me a tripod. And what is a good mount for inside the truck that you guys uh, recommend that I can put in the truck? You know, as I'm driving or whatever that's very sturdy or something. If you guys can think of a good mount or maybe a mount that you guys might use or what have you, put it in the description, uh, in the comment section so I can kind of get an idea because... My mounts are not good. They're not, I don't, I don't know. Do you guys find yourself going through mounts after three or four months or whatever? Is one die down, you just go get another one or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Because I feel like I done been through every mount in the truck stop and all that. So, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, I just wanted to come and share that with you guys before I settle in for tonight. Finish eating. I went stopped at McDonald's, got me some McDonald's fries. I love McDonald's fries, y'all. I know, I know, right? All the carbs, I know. But anywho. Um... And I'm going to chill and rest, give me some sleep because I'm headed back out to Lamar, Colorado tomorrow. Uh, I have to leave out about 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, headed back up to Lamar. And I'm sure I'll probably have more stories, what have you, to tell at that time. So, But anyway, good night, everybody. Hug. Bye-bye.